I'm Marion Landry, the Technical Marketing Specialist for 3ds Max Design. In this video, you'll learn tips on interrupt between 3ds Max Design and AutoCAD in terms of the Autodesk Material Library. Since the release of 3ds Max Design 2011, when file linking or importing a DWG file from AutoCAD, all the materials that are applied to your 3D models will translate exactly the same once in 3ds Max Design, since both software share the same Autodesk material library. This also applies to a Revit or Inventor model, ensuring a consistent definition and rendering look. After file linking or importing your DWG file, you will be able to display all the textures in the viewport by going to the top menu Views, Show Materials in Viewports as Standard Display with Maps. This will help you quickly identify your materials. But the tool you will be looking for is the Material Editor. Luckily, you will find a lot of similarities with the one you are used to in AutoCAD. First, in 3ds Max Design, there are two different ways to view the Material Editor the Compact Material Editor, and new to the 2011 release, the Slate Material Editor. In general, the Slate interface is more versatile when you are designing materials, while the Compact interface is more convenient when you just need to apply materials that have already been designed. I suggest you stick to the Compact Material Editor. The Material Editor interface consists of a menu bar at the top, sample slot displaying a selection of materials that are not in use in a scene, and toolbars along the bottom and side of the sample slot. The main material parameter will change and display the settings of the material selected. For this video, I will focus on the most common tools, but find out more about the interface of Material Editor by going to the Help menu. To browse the material that are in use in your scene, you will need the Material and Map Browser, which is the equivalent of the Material Browser in AutoCAD. There are different ways to access this menu. 3ds Max Design offer a variety of different materials that are all exposed in the Material Map Browser. For architecture rendering, you will want to focus on the only two physically accurate materials that are the Architecture and Design Materials and the Autodesk Materials. You will recognize the list of Autodesk materials that are familiar to you. They are organized in the same folder structure than AutoCAD. In the Material Map Browser, you will find also a list of your scene materials. Right-clicking on the Scene Materials title will give you access to display these materials in small, medium or large icons or text only, as well as other options. You can fully customize the Material Map Browser to your need. So feel free to customize it in a way that will be comfortable and fast for you to browse where you need to go. To load the scene material in your material editor, you can drag and drop the materials from the material map browser or double click on the material itself. To quickly identify the materials that are in use in your scene, look for the white triangle on the corner of the material icon. To bring the material from your scene to the material editor, you can also pick the material directly from the object by using the picker tool. While the compact material editor can edit no more than 24 materials at the time, a scene can contain an unlimited number of materials. When you are editing one material and have applied it to the object in your scene, you can use that sample slot to get a different material from the scene or create a new one and then edit it and so on. Pressing the X key will cycle through different size of preview for your sample slot, giving you more or less empty slots. Using the Autodesk material will be very similar since they are built with the same parameter as AutoCAD. Here, let's compare both software material editor views with the Benchwood Amaretto material. The presets of the material itself are the same and will adjust the same way, giving you the same rendering results. And the 3ds Max Design Material Browser offer a lot of similarity as the one in AutoCAD. From here, you can select all the objects using a specific material, for example, the bench wood. By using the Select by Material tool, which will link you to the Select by Name window, where you can refine your selection if you want. Let's say I want to apply a different type of wood on these selected objects. 
Again, there is multiple ways to do this, but normally this is the way I do it. Select an empty slot from the material editor and browse for a new material. This time I will click on the name field of the material and this will open the material map browser where I can navigate to another wood available in my Autodesk material library. To apply the new material to the selected object, I click on the assign material tool. To display the texture of the new material, I click on the show standard map button. On top of more than 12,000 preset Autodesk materials, in 3ds Max Design you also have access to the Mental Ray architecture and design material. The arch and design material improve the image quality of architectural renderings. It improves workflow and performance in general and performance for glossy surfaces, such as floors in particular. Of course, they offer a bigger parameter layout with more adjustments available but they also offer a list of templates that will help you build your material. Presets like appearance and attributes, matte, pearl or glossy finish will give you a starting point for the reflection and refraction of your materials. Finishes will give you a list of predefined architecture materials. Transparency presets will help you with glass and water material and a list of metal will also be very useful. The arch and design materials are definitely for a more advanced user, but you will find that if you need to create your own materials with your own textures, they will come really handy and you will soon become comfortable using them. The best part of the architecture and design material is that they offer special features such as self-illumination, advanced options for reflectivity and transparency, ambient occlusion settings, and the ability to round off sharp corners and edges as a rendering effect. Let's understand the round corner feature better by rendering a close-up. Normally, when in an AutoCAD environment, in order to have a round edge, you would need to add a fillet to your model. In 3ds Max Design, you can easily do that without having to remodel your object. Use an arch and design material, go down to the special effect rollout menu, Turn on round corner option, adjust the fillet radius amount, and render. The round corner will be added on the material level. Nice and simple results that will add realism to your render, especially for close-up scene. This is a really fast overview of the material editor, but you can understand that the options are unlimited. There are multiple materials options depending on the user preferences or the project requirements. You can choose from a wide variety of material types, including composite material that will give you options for layer effect compositing using any combination of layer opacity, blending modes, and built-in color correctors. You can create technical illustration rendering using the ink and paint material, and even paint directly on your model while using the new viewport canvas tools that was added with the 2011 release. Depending on each client and the endless requirement of deliverable needs, 3ds Max Design will always be able to fulfill any rendering style requirements.